Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Kate Mercy. As you can see from the title, today we're going to be creating a green, grungy, smoky eye look that I think is perfect for fall. To do that, we're gonna be using the Juicy Olive Palette by Give Me Glow Cosmetics. If this is something that you're interested in, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me if you'd subscribe to my channel down below. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so as we know from the intro and the title, Today we're gonna to be using the Juicy Olive Palette by Give Me Glow Cosmetics. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. It has, I think, really unique shadows and beautiful, beautiful green tones that I think are perfect for fall. I think, honestly, it's probably a little more appropriate, in my opinion, <laughs> and for me, um, for the month of October, but I just really wanna play with green. I love green eyeshadow right now, so that's where we're at. Um, so to start things off, I'm gonna go down here with this shade right here called Vodka Teeny and we're gonna just stamp that into the crease and then blend it out. I did not mention this is an E2 brush by Blinged Brushes. I'm just gonna take this fluffy brush and blend out those harsh edges. I'm gonna use my E2 brush again, and I am gonna go in to this top shade here called Dry Martini. We're gonna just stamp that into the crease and blend it in with the Vodka Teeny. Going in again with our fluffy brush and just blending out the harsh edges. I'm going to take this E34 by Sigma Beauty and we're going to go into this middle shade here called Cocktails and we're gonna just stamp that right on the outer corner and try to blend that in to give some depth. I tend to do my eyes first, especially if I'm doing a more colorful look, just because like, as you can see, it's like a big old mess on the outside, but it's much easier for me anyways to handle if I do my eyes first, because I can clean it up. <laughs> And again, going back into my fluffy brush and I'm gonna hold it at the end of the barrel so that I can gently blend this corner and just make sure that everything is like where it's supposed to be. Everybody's in their assigned seat. I'm just gonna use a makeup wipe and clean up the edges a little bit to see where we're at. I'm happy with where we're at. Um, I think now we're going to go in with this bottom green shade here called Garnish. And I'm gonna try it on a flat synthetic brush and if that doesn't work, I will go in with my finger. Personally, I know <laughs> that most shimmers are not gonna work the way that I want them to with a brush, so I'm prepared. I'm just gonna take that E34 again that we used to go into that dark black shade cocktails tap off the excess and just kind of reinforce that depth out here that we kind of lost by sloppy application. And yet again, going back in with that fluffy brush that is filthy at this point, and just again, making sure that everyone is in their assigned seat. So I'm happy with where the eyes are at right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off of the camera and I will be right back and we'll finish up the eyes. Okay, so I am back. That made it worse. 
we'll fix it later. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to um, go in with eyeliner today. We're going to use this green eyeliner by ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie, and it's in the shade Spare Time. It's like a deep evergreen, and we're gonna just cover the waterline. I am going to take this flat shader brush. It's by Morphe with no detailing on the numbers. And we're gonna go in to the shade right here called Dry Martini, and we're gonna just run that right along our eyeliner. I'm gonna take that E34 that we used earlier to do the dark cocktail shade, and we're going to gently try to blend this in. Very smoky, but that's okay. And taking a clean fluffy brush, we're gonna just run that along the edges. We went a little heavy with the bottom lash line, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply mascara and I'll be right back. So this is our eye look. All complete, I am, just wanna clarify, I am not a makeup artist. I am a makeup consumer. I really love makeup, but artistry, not my, not my thing. So this is our finished eye look, all complete. I'm really happy with it. Did I go a little ham on the bottom lash line? Yes, but I wanted this to be a really dramatic makeup look. Um, I really like the lip as well. Like, do I kind of look like old Greg? I do, yeah, I do. But do I also love it? Yeah, I am, um, yeah, I do. If this is a palette that you don't own but that you have been wanting, I really enjoyed playing with it. I think I went like a little dramatic today, but honestly, I'm really happy with it. This black here called Cocktails, I think is like honestly like a perfect black for this palette because it's not too opaque and it's not too concentrated. So when you put it on that outer corner, you're not going to overwhelm or ruin the look because it's very blendable and you can build that up. The only thing, if I had to critique it, I would say like if they had like a chartreuse, like a neon yellow in this palette, that I think would complement it really well. Um, my, my thought process with that is that these two greens and even kind of this one kind of pull similar on the eye and I think that a chartreuse would kind of break that up. But overall, honestly, if this is a palette that you have been thinking about and wanting, then I really, really enjoyed this. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot to me. If you would subscribe to my channel down below, please, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.